think about the fact that this city exists here. This was the swamp. This was like the bottom of the delta. This was a city made by mud and water. How in the midst of the swamp, we've cooked and we've created and we've maintained culture in a way we're able to transform pain into beauty or ugliness into triumph. What's inspirational about New Orleans is the story of alchemy here, like the story of transformation. Now, wait a minute. New Orleanians, family, friends, culture bearers, I welcome you. Salute. Cheers. 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 Enjoy the food. Love you all. And if you behave, there's something sweet later. Isaac, you know how to say cheers in Zulu or Swahili? No. Well, we got to tea. Okay, so everybody learn this. Oogie Wah Wah. It's so much more fun to say Jack. Oogie Wah Wah. 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 Oogie I'm Stan Moore. I am a drummer from New Orleans. I play with Galactic, my own trio, Garage de Trois, Dragon Smoke. When I was maybe three, four years old, I started being excited about the drums in the Mardi Gras parades. I'd come home, be so excited, I'd just start hitting on the table with knives and forks. As I grew up, I was like, man, I was born in the right place. New Orleans is the one place in the United States through the horrible practices of slavery where we have such a direct lineage from Africa through Haiti, through Cuba, where African people could practice their religion, dance, and song. And that was in Congo Square. People started taking a bass drum and putting it on a chair and hitting it with a stick or a mallet and playing the snare drum with their left hand. People started making makeshift bass drum pedals to play the bass drum with your foot. That's the drum set. The drum set was invented in New Orleans. So to me, New Orleans is ground zero for what we know as black American music. And yes, drums sound differently here because this is where it started. music like like dancing and like a couple other people here and when we travel people are, oh new orleans all oh, the food there's so good it's so grass and i always think like what y'all eat up here <laughs> you know i'm thinking why is it you know you grew up with it you grew up with the music you grew up with you know whatever the culture the food the people and you're like this is this is our normal this is our normal? Yeah. 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 Our you know? Our very normal. Yeah. Our very normal every day, right? My name is Big Chief DeMar Malonso. I'm a big chief of the Young Seminole Black Mexican Tribe in New Orleans, and I'm a contemporary beat artist. Been masking since 1992. A lot of people of color in Louisiana have some kind of First Nation lineage in their blood. Some of the stories date back to the Africans coming back from Yoruba, Ifa, Obatala. So you get that in Cuba, and that's where a lot of Africans came through the slave trade. It's so much of a gumbo, that's what we know, Ungambo, because in Congo Square, it was the original black code going on. And that's where the beginning of practicing our rituals came. So we do our dances and we pay homage to all of our ancestral historical meaning and blood lineage. Is this Louisiana caviar? Do we it have is Louisiana caviar. It is Louisiana pork, Louisiana oysters. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we just salt and pepper through in the oven. Um, uh, normally, I would dress it with a little like a uh, lime vinaigrette or something like that. I like to deep fry. I like to dust in the cornmeal and deep fry the whole thing. Uh, My name is Mai Nguyen because I live near Lin and Tin Bao Lin when 1986. Thì đi ra ngoài biển á, thì bỏ giả xuống. Right. Okay. 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 Okay.
quên ao mới 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 kéo giả lên thì mất thí dụ như mà tôm nó có bằng ngày thì đến bằng ngày có bằng đêm có bằng đêm chứ không phải bằng ngày không đi thí dụ như gió nói nọt hay là sao mình biết cái gió sao là nó đánh chỗ nào gió nọt đánh chỗ nào ít đánh, đánh chỗ nào thường thường là tôm với cá tư làm khô người ta mua đủ thứ đem về cho tiểu bang khác đem mua lợi người ta mua á thì cá mình làm đủ thứ món hết trơn á người việt nam mình chế đủ thứ món But really for us, the city feels like another member of our family and we'll do any damn thing for it, you know? Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. My name is Brandon B. Mike Odoms. I'm a visual artist from New Orleans. I do a lot of things as an artist, but mostly I like to put some paint where it ain't. From my work, there's always been this urgency, knowing that the work that I create might not last. The murals are ephemeral. New Orleans has taught me two things very well. It's taught me about how what you create is best served for others. When I've seen the best musicians create music here, it was for the community. It was an invitation for you to join in. And so that informed me as an artist to say, okay, how is it for my community right now? How is it serving the people who are around me? I think the other thing it taught me is like, how do you respect the history of where you are? Like this wall is not just this wall. This wall has a story, has age, it has history on its own. You can't just walk to this wall and say, this is what I want to do with it. No, this is a part of a longer narrative. And your brief moment in that narrative is not more important than the entire existence of that thing. And I think this city is always battling progress versus preservation. You see this duality all the time. And I think that's what captures people the most. It's like, how is this space still able to be preserved but also still able to serve an audience that is in the present and thinking towards the future. What we do very well here is we give reason for people to come together. We give reason for communities to mingle, to engage, whether it's around food, celebrations, performances, or art. What's beautiful is our resilience as it's displayed throughout creativity. 